everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to give you a tour of my bathroom and show you how i organize it my bathroom is very simple and my favorite thing about it is that i'm able to keep everything off the counter so that it's easy to clean let's get started my bathroom is quite spacious for the size of my apartment which is a 430 square feet studio apartment the vanity and the upper cabinet provides me with a lot of storage. And beside the vanity, I have a simple human trash can, which is the best trash can in the entire world. I got it for around $50 to $100, which is quite pricey, but I use it a dozen times a day. And also, I know that one day I'll be able to pass this down to my next generation. So I think it's well worth it. And then there's a toilet and then my standing shower. The cabinet beside the mirror houses the products that I reach for the most often. Mainly, these are skincare products that I use on a daily basis. From the bottom, I have my Sensodyne toothpaste, a repurposed yogurt jar for my toothbrush holder, and also some micellar water for removing the makeup. Recently, I discovered that I actually have a sensitive tooth, so using an appropriate toothpaste is really a lifesaver. With this toothpaste, I'm able to live life as normal. Sensitivity in the teeth can be felt as soreness in your teeth when you eat something that's really cold or really hot. And if that's something you're experiencing, definitely stop using any whitening products or whitening toothpaste because it's just going to make the problem worse. On the second level, I have my contact lens solution and my Cetaphil lotion and cleanser that I transfer to a smaller container. I kind of use the cream and lotion interchangeably depending on the condition of my skin. Both are great and I actually think it's a good idea to have both of them. And of course, I have this La Roche-Posay Effectler Dual Plus, which I use all over my face every day to prevent any acne from forming. On the third level, I have a 0.2% retinol from The Ordinary, which I am testing out for three months. And then I have a bottle of castor oil that I use as hair treatment to stimulate my hair growth. And I also have an argan oil heat protectant. And I got this kind of no-name brand from Amazon, and it's actually surprisingly good. The heat protectant smells and feels very natural. And I'll link all the products down below in case anyone is interested. And on the counter, I pride myself in keeping it pretty bare at all times. I have a soap dispenser, and I highly recommend getting a legit reusable soap dispenser that can last for a really long time because not only it looks great on your countertop, it also allows you to buy soap in bulk, which is not only cheaper and also saves on packaging. On the other side of the counter, I have an organization box that I use to store some cotton pads, some Q-tips, hair clips, hair ties, and also my lip balm and eye cream. Moving down to the vanity. In the first drawer, I keep all my most reached for products here, like my scalp massager, my comb, and also some makeup products that I use most often. For my everyday makeup that I do either when I plan to go out or if I'm filming, I will use the following. A primer, foundation, an eyebrow pencil or eyebrow pen, and also some eyeliners if I can remember. In the second drawer, most prominently, I have a set of face masks from Origins that I got last year on Black Friday. This set is such a good purchase because I can easily pick and choose a face mask depending on the condition of my skin. I also have my makeup brushes, my contact lenses, and also this big pro looking makeup brush that I just don't seem to use anymore. In the third drawer, I have all my hair tools. I have a hair crimper for adding volume to my roots, a hair straightener, and also a hair straightening brush that I bought recently. And honestly, it's kind of gimmicky. Maybe it will work better for longer or finer hair. And for under the sink storage, I have some supplies. Most prominently is the colorful feminine products, including liners, pads, and my newest addition, two menstrual cups that I have yet to master. And toward the back, I have my toiletry bag and also some additional cotton pads. I also have my Cetaphil cleansers, lotion, and also soap stored in bulk that I use to refill. And lastly, I also have some additional hair products that I only use once in a while, like hairsprays, mousse, and dry shampoos. And in the brown paper bag are my shower caps and also some other products that I don't use, but just can't seem to get rid of. And now let's move into the shower. On the walls of my shower, I have a bar of lavender soap 
some lavender body wash because relaxation is key, and also some benzoyl peroxide face wash. And on the other side, I added a command hook to the wall, which I'm currently using to hang my razor. Call me a genius. And at the bottom of my shower, I have all my hair washing products, a shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty, a bottle of head and shoulder shampoo, and also some hair conditioner from Briorgio. All of them are okay, but I'm not blown away. I also have a shower mat on the floor to dry my feet, and this mat is pretty discolored, and my suspicion is that the benzoyl peroxide have bleached it. And that concludes everything I have in my bathroom. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you're interested, I'll link some other tours I did around my home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.